So are you ready to walk into 2024's energy? I will tell you 2024 has some amazing energy in it, but it's got some things to teach us as well. So let's go back to the beginning. Well, kind of the beginning. Let's go back to 2023 because 2023 is a seven year. So if you add all the numbers together for 2023, you get a seven and seven years are all about caring and complimenting and bringing in some different kind of energies. Now I will tell you that's going to be a deep kind of change that you're kind of like, well, I don't remember seeing a lot of caring. If you look back throughout the year, there has been some amazing caring aspects in our world. And that's something that you're just like, okay, I do see it. People taking other people in, caring for people, taking going out of their way. So that sort of thing. Like we've had aspects of it. Doesn't mean it's going to be all over the place. It's just going to be one aspect. Now, when we step into 2024's energy, we have power. So you're going to people see people like wanting power, desiring power, wanting to take power over. Um, a lot of material items, uh, people wanting more material items, like I've just got to have this dress, this skirt, this pair of pants, these pair of shoes, whatever it is. A lot of people grasping at material items. The next one, you're going to see a lot of financial gain in some areas. Doesn't mean everybody's going to have financial gain. You're going to see this in some areas. Financial gain is going to be uh, people stepping into their own power, their business finally taking off, that sort of thing. So you're going to finally like, ta-da, here we go, here we go on this um, this uh, trip. I will say that a lot of people are going to be doing a lot of things for achievement. It's like, I want to show you that I've done this or accomplished this or I got the medal or whatever it is. I got the, the winning cup kind of thing. Um, you're going to see a lot of people kind of like really satisfied with who they are and where they are in their world. World, and that's a really different aspect than what we've been dealing with in the past. Um, I will say um, eight years are all about kind of like this personal empowerment. And I will tell you, it's going to be some changing things for most of us. And it doesn't mean bad. It just means that this, there are a lot of energies changing as we move into 2024 and as we use move further into 2024. If there's something in your life that you're not happy with as we move into 2024, it is your job and your job alone to make the changes. So many people kind of almost want it like, let me place an order. I would like a business. I would like a new happy career and I would like a new spouse. I would like a new car. I would like a new house. Blah, 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 blah. And almost like you're ordering from, you know, a menu. No, you have to be willing to step out of your comfort zone to get this energy going in the right direction. So it's kind of like you're the one who have to be um, pushing the energy, desiring the things, doing the things. Doesn't mean like you have to work like you're in like the 1900s, like 1901, but you do need to do some things to kind of really amp up this energy and bring in more positive energy to you to make the changes. I will also say there is going to be a lot of material gifts from other people. And I've seen this more and more as we're getting closer to 2024's energy. Um, a lot of people like they're finally influenced enough um, or influencing people online enough like, oh, I got this sent to me. I got this new cup. I got this new shirt. I got this new whatever it is. So a lot of people gifting things to kind of get their name out there because they want that notoriety that this person is like bringing in for them. And this could be gifts, support, um, and you're going to be seeing that more and more coming in 2024 um, as other things kind of like fall apart. But it's one of those, it's really about wanting people to show off what you've accomplished or done. One of the also things I get with 2024 is there is going to be a lot of jealousy. I know crazy, a lot of jealousy coming in. And I will say this is because a lot of people are aiming too high. Like this is where I've been in 2023 and this is where I want to go in 2024. And a lot of people are like, no, there's no way you can accomplish this. There's no way you can do this. There's no way you can do blah, blah, blah. And so that's really some amazing energy coming in of this jealousy. So you might see this from time to time. And if you see it, you'll be like, okay, I got it. I see it coming in. And a lot of times like, Usually it comes in because the person who's jealous has been um, 
like wanting what the other person has. They have doubts in their own mind that they could accomplishment, accomplish that. So what they end up doing is kind of like jumping all over someone else and tearing them down and tearing them apart because it's one of those like what I wanted is what you just got and I'm not happy with any of this. So it's kind of like, wow, you are going to see this in some big ways in some different areas around us. And this doesn't mean necessarily something bad, but it's one of those, um, if you're thinking someone else has your abundance, you're wrong. You have to be willing to do what it takes to make that accomplished. Um, like doing the work, doing this, the classes, doing the whatever. You have to be willing to step out of your own, own comfort zone to find that abundance that you're really looking for. Also say there is some changes coming in because our world is literally changing and this is kind of like every time we have an eight year there are some big changes and it's almost like um, like you know like there's been friction and then all of a sudden like there's a whole bunch of change all at the same time and so that's what we're gonna have in this 2024 year and there's gonna be a lot of physical changes mental changes emotional changes and this is gonna come in as as the form of like what are you willing to change how comfortable you want to be and I will say the more comfortable you're trying to be the harder it's going to be on you when you're looking for the comfort when you're only looking for I want my life to be easy I want this to be simple I want this to be whatever that's when you're going to start to have issues that's when you're going to be like uh, this doesn't work out so well yeah I know that's kind of the strange form of this is the more you want your life to be easy and comfortable the harder it's going to be for you and for other people as well one of the things is you may have to really make some changes in what we think about money, power, and success. Because what we've been labeling that or defining that as may not be the same thing as what we should be labeling it as. And I guarantee there is going to be a lot of changes. Um, I will say planetary wise, there are some major changes coming as well. And so that's just something to be aware of. It's not anything super scary, but there are some like big aspects coming out. Uh, we've got some amazing um uh, eclipse is coming and one of them is like straight over the United States so that's going to be a huge one that's going to affect a lot of people but I will say Saturn coming out of retrograde is going to be a big one um, let's see uh, some other ones that are going to be really interesting are kind of the um, Mercury and retrogrades are going to be interesting um, uh, Venus and retrograde Mars and retrograde so we're going to be looking for those videos to come out in the next few months and I know that you're going to be like wow make sure that you're not falling into the trap like everybody else. I thank you so much for joining me today and I know that we'll be talking again soon.